Hello guys, today we're going to take a look at another IC station product. This time it is this little power brick here. So what this basically does is take a voltage in and convert it to a higher voltage. In this case it's around about 10 to 12 volts I think and uh, boosted up to about 35 volts I think is what the webpage claims and around about 6 amps so that's quite a lot of power which might not be realistic because the main chip here an LM2577 uh, I think it doesn't actually have a heatsink. It's using the back pane of the PCB here as the heatsink, so I, I'm not sure if that's enough for the amount of power that it's claiming to be able to handle, but we'll uh, just test it out. I'm not going to butt it up to its maximum rating because I don't actually have anything, well, unless I shorted the, the board out, I don't really have anything to test its max limits. But what I have is a little motor here. It's a 13.6 volt motor, and what I thought we'd do, since this is just a junk motor I pulled out of a uh, radio or something we'll hook it up and keep up in the voltage and see where the motor fails and we'll also be watching to see our voltage uh, climb with our power module here okay so here's our little test rig this is measuring the battery voltage and the current that our load is drawing and on the screen down here you can see the voltage that's being output by our module which is down here and the load is of course the little fan so maybe I'll start with a lower voltage and see um, just see if it can even cope so we'll switch to 3.7 volts and see if we get any voltage output here at all okay for some reason my uh, little machine here is reading the voltage about half a volt too high uh, but the current seems to be okay so we'll just uh, continue so the voltage at the minute is around about 4.4 volts or 4.1 volts or something like that so let's hook it up to the power module here and see if it uh, see what kind of voltage we get output okay according to that we're getting the four we're getting 14 volts from our around about 4 volts input. That's pretty good. I can actually show you the input here. Okay, well, you were probably screaming at the uh, screen just add the second channel, so that's what I've done. Uh, I now have the second channel, which is blue, reading the input voltage, and the other channel reading the output. So according to this our input voltage is 3.65 volts and our output voltage is 14 volts. So let's see can we up that a little bit. We're up to 30 volts with our input voltage, our battery, because of the load, is down to 3.3 volts. We can still keep going, I think. I think we've hit the max there, that's 33.8 volts going to the motor and it's drawn 0.77 amps. That's actually quite a lot, I'm surprised the motor's still going. And that's with our battery at only 3.1 volts. So let's uh, switch the voltage of the battery up a bit and see what we get then. So I've upped the 
battery voltage to 7.44 volts and we're still getting 38 or 33.8 volts output at the maximum setting there and our amperage has gone down to only 0.32 amps so we've uh, half the amps by doubling the battery voltage which kind of makes sense so it looks like the little module here is able to set the output voltage and as long as you're within a reasonable input voltage range it's able to sustain that voltage even as say the input battery voltage drops so it will maintain the 33.8 volts even as the voltage of our input battery continues to drop so your battery might drop 2 or 3 volts but we still have the same output voltage which is pretty perfect for most applications like um, if you are setting up a solar battery system you'd you'd want to know that uh, well if this was going to an inverter or something well it all just stopped there not sure why it's probably the the motor has been fried not sure though our our little power brick doesn't feel too hot so i don't think that's the problem Turns out there was no problem. I must have just hit the one of the wires and knocked it loose. So let's just uh, up it to the final voltage. Uh, the full three. I'm using the uh, three batteries from the uh, PC400 here. So we'll add the final 3.7 volts and see what happens then. So we add in the final volt or the final battery there. Now we're up at 11.5 volts. Our current has dropped again. So that's uh, as you'd expect. We're probably if you worked it out we're probably drawing the same powers each time so if we have more voltage we don't need so much current but uh, the interesting thing is our output voltage has been maintained constantly at 33.8 volts which is uh, really good for one of these power modules like I was saying so our constant output voltage is really good for example if you had a, a solar a battery charger that charged up a car battery during the day and at night you wanted to power your lights you could use something like this set it to 12 or 24 volts whatever your lighting system is at and as the car battery or whatever storage battery you had was discharging and the battery voltage was dropping you wouldn't see that on your lights your lights wouldn't be dimming you maintain the 24 volts uh, set steadily by the little boost converter here so that's the kind of application you might use this for. I'm surprised our uh, little motor stood up to the 33 volts for so long, or 34 volts nearly. Uh, I was kind of expecting to destroy it, so a little bit disappointed about that. But anyway, I think it served its purpose here as a, a little load for the power, power block. So if you like that uh, step up converter there, make sure and head over to IC Station. The links for the product should be in the description too. And if you have any questions about it, let me know. I hopefully we'll be able to answer them. And uh, just let me know below the video or head on over to the forum as usual. And I think that's pretty much everything I have to say about this. So thanks very much for watching.